Miami Open Championship, Danielle Collins, the world's ranked 53rd, taking on Elena Rabakina, the world's ranked number four. These two ladies played four times coming into this match. Danielle Collins won their very first meeting a few years ago in San Jose. However, it's been all Elena Rabakina, the last three meetings, winning each match, however, in three sets. Would today be different? Danielle Collins came out with heat seeking missile straight laser beams and she took the first set in 12 service games ladies and gentlemen saving every single one of the breakpoint opportunities that elena rebecca and i had the second set danielle would start things off with a break and elena rebecca go that way telling the ball looking to her camp for answers Frustrated all day long, ladies and gentlemen, and look at the face on this classy woman. She's an amazing inspiration for Russian tennis fans, tennis fans all over the world. Yes, she was born in Moscow. She's a resident of Kazakhstan now. We know that, but she's an inspiration for any tennis player across the globe. She's that good, the best serve in the business, one of the best forehands, and she's so calm. But today would be a little Every fun. way, mentally, physically, I mean, just the shot production, and especially the technique is starting to really, really break down. She's going to have... And as you heard Sophie there, the technique started to break down. I think Danielle Collins started to recognize that. And she started to stretch the court even more, going cross court, working Al Elena Rabakina front, back, side to side, like a new TikTok dance move or something. And it started to get ugly in the second set, ladies and gentlemen. The pick, the numeric lock was for Danielle Collins to win the first set and the match. She did both of those and she comes through. One of the greats, Andre Agassi. Wait a minute, that's Agassi? I have this image of Agassi with like long curly hair, just, you know, blasting forehands, people taking shots with the cannon rebel. What happened to us here? Listen, guys, Andre Agassi is American tennis. What an amazing legend. I remember a time before the big three when it was about Andre Agassi. I love that guy, ladies and gentlemen. And yes, Danielle Collins wins her third championship, her first Master 1000 event. And how did she do it? She went toe-to-toe -to -toe with one of the best in the business. That's right. Causing Elena Rabakina to commit 41 unforced errors, 1411 on break points, 82 points won by Danielle Collins. And I am so happy the two-time, two-time NCAA champion. And now she's a three-time main tour champion. Congratulations, Danielle Collins. I told you guys, look. If Elena Rabakina faces Danielle Collins, it's going to be trouble. I hope you guys took the pick. I said it. <laughs> I told you she Elena Rabakina wasn't going to win the title here. The numerology told me so. I knew it. Danielle Collins was the pick. But congratulations to a classy one woman, Elena Rabakina. We have nothing bad to say about Elena Rabakina. Just, she just faced someone that's just hotter today. It happens. And if Danielle Collins can keep this form, yes, guys, I'm going to open a can of worms here now. As of today, Danielle Collins will make the Olympics representing the United States. Can she hold on? A dream come true for Danielle Collins. If she can hold on, a classy exchange. Look at Elena Rabakina. She's so freaking classy. I love that woman. Amazing display of sportsmanship. And James Blake is doing an amaz another amazing American tennis player. He's doing an amazing job with this tournament. This is his fifth year, if I'm not mistaken. Amazing job, guys. I'll be back next year. Um, Blake, can you get me some media passes? What's up, guy? Amazing job, Danielle Collins. The Miami Open, that concludes it. Tennis in a minute. Stay tuned. More tennis, new tournament starting tomorrow. We'll be right back. Congratulations, Danielle Collins.